Okay, we're in Pro Show Gold, and what we're going to do is take a look at creating a very, very short sequence, just using sort of half a dozen six slides, uh, putting them together, and giving a little bit of sort of zoom and motion to each of the slides. Right, this is the new show dialog box. Click on that little icon at the top there that says new, up it'll pop. Swipe across, put in new show, or call it whatever you want to call it, and coming down the next thing you need to do is select the aspect ratio that you want to produce your show to. You have a selection 4x3, 16x9 and custom. Custom allows you to enter the figures there. Ideal if you want it for sort of use on your PC where you can sort of put your screen resolution, I know 1024, 768, something like that. I'm going to come back for this particular one and just go by the 16x9 widescreen, clicking create, you'll notice the name has now changed at the top. Right, we're going to grab these slides here, catching hold of them, dragging them, dropping them into slide number one. Now this is going to mean they're just going to spread out. Now it's, yes, it can count. It's taken up to four. There are six have arrived. In they go. How about changing the position? We're going to select this one. I'm going to press control and cl click on this one. Now using the arrow brackets on the keyboard, so that's the arrow brackets on the keyboard, I'm going to use the right hand arrow bracket to nudge the two of them to the right. Okay, let's come to the second slide in here. I want to put that as the first slide, this time using the left hand arrow bracket to move it to the left. Great, so we can see how we can nudge the slides around. Now if I just grab hold of this and just move this across, you can see the way it's going to play through like that. It's all static and it's all three seconds on screen, three seconds transition, exciting stuff. Okay, let's make some changes. We're going to leave the first slide as it is. We're going to come to the second slide. We're going to double click on it. Thank you. We're going to go to the effects icon. That's this one here with the motion tab. Zoom there. We're going to leave the start position at 100% with the sort of rotation at zero zoom for position, the end position, we're going to take up to, let's have a look, that's there, sort of what we got, we got sort of 19 and rotation, yeah you can move it around like that but it can, tends to go a little bit on the crazy side, easier just to put a figure in such as 5 which is pretty good or if you want to you can go for minus 5 and just rotate it around the other way, I think we'll go back for that one, click OK. Right, so that's now going to rotate this slide as we can see there in the little preview screen. All you have to do now is apply it to the rest of them. So, clicking on slide number three, second thought, that could be pretty boring. We're going to go back into the slide options, clicking on slide, we're going to head for slide styles, just dropping down what we can see here, that's the standard one where you've got all the different categories listed, and what I've done is I've selected my own slide styles. These are slide styles that I'm creating myself. Right, the next thing is this one we put in here. We're going to click Create. That's going to open this up. We're going to call this one Zoom. Um, what else did we do? Oh yeah, I forgot what we did to it then. Right, we're going to call this Zoom Rotate. Highly original, I know, but uh, let's just swipe across. I'm going to use Control C because I'm getting lazy. Publisher, there we are, there's my website address. Please pop along, say hello. Get bored otherwise and lonely. Click in on this one. Remember when we started off. This style can be used with the show aspect ratios of 16 by 9, 4 by 3, custom. Yes, it can. So we're going to leave that, that you can use it on all the different aspect ratios coming down. Command V, Control V even. We're going to pop it in. All right, I use a Mac as well. We're going to put in, what was it, 119, and we're going to go to 5% on this one, or 5 degrees. Once you're happy with that, and you can put whatever description in you want, click OK. There it is. Right, let's go to the next slide. Using this arrow down here, we can navigate our way to the next slide. There it is, we're already getting a preview of how it's going to look. Click Apply, click OK. Go into the next slide. Once again, taking a look. There it is, it's showing us a preview. So we're going to click up Apply, it's asking us are we really sure? We're going to click Yes. Go into the next slide, which is this one here. We're now going to go to Apply again, you can see it happening. Click OK, and job done. I'm not going to go to the last slide. Click OK to that, and there it is. Right, bringing it back to the beginning. 
click in rewind if we just play this through I'm going to grab hold of this just to save a little bit of time as we come through you can see there it is at that position there if I just click play it's going to zoom in there nice bit of gentle rotation there to the right and again this one coming through rotating there nicely to the right that looks pretty good okay yeah okay I think is the word it looks okay it's not particularly sort of you know fantastic so let's make some changes what we're gonna do is click on the first slides so we're on slide number two hold down your shift key now click on slide or the next slide in the sequence or it can be the entire slide whichever one you want to do so click on the first one click on that we've now selected them all now with this what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a figure here for the transition time of eight we're going to come down for the on-screen time and we're going to put on zero. Clicking off onto this slide number one, we're just going to put in here a figure of eight and for the on-screen time of this one we're going to put one like that. So we're just changing the on-screen time, we're changing the transition time for these slides. This one here we're going to leave at eight but the last slide we're going to leave at uh, three seconds. Something else I want to do that's annoying me slightly is the background there. So, simply what you can do with this is just use, if you want to do it with the entire slideshow, just use Control A. That selects all of the slides. Come to any of the slide, right click, go to Customize Slides, dropping down to Slide Scale. There it is, there, Slide Scale Images. And we're going to come down to, you've got Fill Frame or Fit to Frame. We're going to go to Fill Frame you'll notice they've all expanded outwards. Right, if we now go to the beginning, just going to play this through, it's going to come through, it's going to be a nice soft transition through with this. That's looking pretty good there, it's going to shoot through, you'll notice the way it skips over that one onto this one, blending in nicely with that, I love that effect, that looks really really good. Phew, that was a relief, <laughs> coming through to this one here. On we go with this. Okay, with some of them, because we've actually filled the frame, you may need to sort of dip into the show and just sort of readjust things. I'll show you that in just a second. This one here, yeah, I've got a feeling with this one, wouldn't that be great if we could just rotate it back the other way? Let's do that. We'll come in and adjust this one while we're at it, because you can see they're just a little bit high in the frame. So coming into this one, if we go to effects, there we are, we're on effects. That was the plus five there we put in. Let's put a figure on this one now of just minus 5. We're going to do that. And if we come to the next slide, there they are there, just heads coming out the top of the frame there a little bit, so just popping in, try not to disturb them too much. Right, coming into this one here, and again, let's just put a wee bit of rotation on that. Let's go for, uh, again, a minus 5, I think, on that, and just zoom a little touch on that one and there it is that should now do the trick right so I'm going to take a bit of a gamble on this I'm going to go to play full screen sorry if any of it gets cut off in the recording area for this video but clicking on play it would help to see it from the beginning wouldn't it yes <laughs> pause rewind play again click in play and here we go there they are those guys there that's and you see the way you can blend it through there nicely and that's what it's all about trying to blend slides together give a nice little bit of movement that one there blends through absolutely beautifully love that coming through this is using the slide styles in Pro Show Gold you can do the same sort of thing in producer but you can use keyframes in producer and we'll take that to uh, in another video using the images sorry I was concentrating then I got lost they are that's one now going in the five degrees negative you can see it's just pulling that through a little bit and those two blending through there nicely job done pretty good happy with that so I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead go on give it a try it really does work a treat as I said it's just using slide styles once you've set it up that's it but don't be afraid to come in and to make any changes, make any adjustments, and you can do it with all the slides. This one here, for example, perhaps just a little bit high in the screen there. Don't forget, we did use the fill, so just dropping them down a bit, click OK, and there it is. Until the next time, it's happy imaging, and take care.